All right, so I'm gonna show how to use my Truco 360 BSP. Spray some latex paint. These things are a big purchase, but if you got about a thousand square feet to spray, it's totally worth it. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure that you, uh, you plastic everything off and uh, put down paper and all that good stuff because this is gonna get everywhere. And also make sure that you've got your OSHA mask uh, and some eye protection because it's gonna get on your face. But here's a spray tip. It's got two sides, one with a little brass on it. That's where the spray comes out. The other side, that's got a little hole. That's, uh, that's how you clear it out if it gets jammed up, which will probably happen once or twice, but it's not really a big deal. It's got this uh, spray and prime pump option. So you always prime the pump and then you can spray it, of course. Uh, and then it's got these little buckets. So put the paint inside this bucket. Okay, so I got the bucket filled up all the way. Just leave maybe a half inch at the top. And then put that cap on. And it gives you a little blue marking right on the side there that you want to line up. And then you want to attach the true coat. And you kind of want it lined up like this where the valve is right there. So the valve can turn in. So now I got it on. And there's that blue line again. We're gonna go prime pump at this point. And now we're gonna get the air out. So you open that little flap. Turn it slightly on its side. And you squeeze it so you just get a little bit of paint in there. And if you filled it up most of the way and you have a good seal, you're pretty much all set at that point. You can close that tab. Now we're gonna prime it up. So I got it in prime mode. Turn it upside down just to make sure you're getting it right. Put the speed adjustment right there to 10. Turn it up to 10 seconds maybe. And you can see the bag kind of squeeze in, which is its job. So anytime it loses pressure, you gotta make sure that the bag is squeezing properly. And then we're gonna to switch to spray mode. We got it in spray mode. And we're gonna turn it down to like, Four, because this is a pretty small room, and just like a washer dryer room. We don't know if it's working perfectly yet, so just spray it at the ground and make sure it works. And it's working. You pretty much just keep filling up your bucket with more paint after it runs out, uh, and trying to keep the lid here clean and the valve here pretty clean. So I'm going to paint one more coat here and I'll be back for the cleanup. First thing you do is you turn it back into prime pump. Otherwise sometimes it'll pop when it leaves the pressure and uh, the pop will go in the wrong spot. And, uh, and then you just unscrew it from the base. Okay, so I got it unscrewed, but remember there's still paint like all over the lid. Turn the sprayer upside down so that you don't make additional mess right now. I'm gonna pour the good paint back into the bucket. Uh, the first thing you do, just get a cup of water like that. It's, this is the time when you can break out your clean buckets so that you don't have to clean up additional paint. The buckets are cheap, so after you've done a big job, just throw that sucker away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this bucket of water onto that cap, and we're gonna give it a good shake Okay, so I got it screwed on just like it's paint. You can see how white that water gets really quick. But you do that a couple times, maybe three or four times, and the whole cap will be really clean. And then you can go on to the next step. Okay, so we got the first part done. We got that clean bucket now. And the second part, we're gonna wanna take off this little filter cap. Just get all sorts of goop in it, because I guess I dumped some bad paint in there. <laughs> so uh, this is one you can clean off now. All right, so that sucker's all cleaned up. And remember, it's a great time to have a brush, like a scrub brush and an old toothbrush. So you can really get into the nooks and crannies. So next, we're gonna clean out the insides of the sprayer. And we're gonna do that using the prime pump and a little electricity, so here we go. So I got like a quarter bucket of water. I got it in prime pump mode. And I'm gonna turn it up to 10 here. So you want it to be max. Make sure it's upside down and then it'll prime right into that water. Like that. Give it a little shake around. 
And then uh, you can kind of repeat that a few more times, you know, get the water clean. But, uh, you know, you don't really want to be priming water or, or pumping water too long. Just enough to get it clean. And next, we're going to prime up a little more water. And we're going to move it into spray mode. And I got the tip in drain mode. So you basically never want to be looking in that tip. Just think like it's a barrel of a gun because uh, sometimes it'll rele release pressure if it's got a block or something and it'll nail you right in the eye. Now we're just going to spray out the tip. Uh, the manual says like four seconds. You take the tip out. Right, so I got that tip out. I still got it in spray mode. I'm going to spray basically till it's clear because once the spray tip's not in there, you're not damaging too much stuff. Pretty much just dumping out water and, uh, and that's looking pretty good. Just clean that inside area, clean it with a, uh, with a toothbrush and try and get anything that will be exposed to paint on the next round, like the next time you use it, uh, get that surface clear because uh, that way the spray will still, uh, still be really nice. Okay, so this is a toothbrush, toothbrush right in that area. Another area I like to give a little extra love to is this attachment area. And you usually see like there's some sort of gunk inside that uh, builds up in that small hole there. I don't know why it does that, but it doesn't seem to be a big deal. And then on the machine, it doesn't matter that you have paint all over it because it's it's a it's like a painting machine. Uh, but a few areas that are really nice to have clean are this display area, maybe the trigger, and uh, maybe this area where it says spray and pine pump. Okay, just a few other areas you got to clean up. You got to make sure that the lip here on the gray bucket, you got to make sure that's totally clean. You got to make sure the other end of the screw that that's good too, and a seal there. This little black vacuum hole, this whole unit screws off. Okay, this whole unit screws off. It always have paint inside it. You gotta hit that with your toothbrush and, uh, and make sure it's clean. You're working on these areas because that's what creates the vacuum for the device the next time. If you don't have a good seal, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we're looking pretty clean. We got the strainer back in. We got the cap back on. And really like the last thing you're gonna do is get some pump armor here. And you're just going to dump just enough in to fill up to the top of that strainer there. And if you can actually fill it up without spilling everywhere, then you get bonus points. And uh, we're going to get in the prime pump mode, cap it up, and we're going to push the trigger for three seconds to get the pump armor moving inside the unit. You always store it right side up. But just store it right side up. Try not to make too much of a mess with your pump armor. Uh, and, uh, and a little bit open, like that. Uh, and uh, that way it'll dry out completely. But you got the pump armor in there already, so that'll, that'll keep the device good for next time. I clean up on this uh, it takes maybe 20 minutes if you're doing it right, and uh, starting it up should be five minutes. So all in all, as long as you know how to use it, and you, and you learn how to use it, it's a pretty efficient device. Uh, if you're just trying to do small things, uh, like my friends tell me, hey, can you help paint the apartment or something, uh, just the small things, just use a roller. Uh, but this is great if you're trying to cover a lot of area or you're trying to cover space that's hard to reach into, like in a laundry room or AC, AC area, because uh, you can really get those hard to reach places and do a nice coat rather than having latex paint drips all over the place. Uh, it also works for oil-based paints, I think, but uh, the cleanup would not be as easy and you'd have to use a lot of chemicals instead of water, so I'm just doing late-day paint for now.